Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Sagittarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, archers, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in, Sagittarius. Definitely thank you all so much for your love and support, and welcome back to the Soul Tribe. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for your continuous love and support. And definitely thank you all for your feedback and your comment down below. I see you. I hear you, Sagittarius, and I appreciate you, all right? So we're going to focus here today on the person here that's on your mind. We're going to use some tarot here just to see where their feelings and where their thoughts is. And of course, we're going to close out with my raw tarot index cards, okay? So let's go ahead here again and see about the person that's on your mind. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the content here for who you know, archers, that the readings may resonate for today. All right, so no further ado, archers, let's dive in. Wow, we have the Ace of Swords, Sagittarius. This is Aries. Also for me, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here, of course, but clearly we heard Aries wanted to come out. So some of you have this person here, Sagittarius may be an Aries here. You may hear some clarity or some information about an Aries here. You may get some truth here about a situation, all right? But we know the Ace of Swords talks about clarity coming in to give understanding here of a situation or a circumstance here that has happened in the past with the Ace of Swords being right here, right? So let's see here what this here is. And we're going to clarify each of the cards here to get more insight, Archers. Yeah, we have the emperor here, okay? Some of y'all, this person here may be a Taurus, an Aries, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, okay? With the emperor card here. Wow, some of y'all, this person here, I feel like this could have been the mother or the father of your child. This could have been someone that you were in a relationship here with, with the emperor or the empress. Take it how it resonates for you. But I feel like this person here that is on your mind, some of y'all may have received some clarity about this person and something that they are wanting to obviously here communicate with you. And this is going to be something that you may did not hear about with this being the Ace of Swords because this is something new. This could be some new information about a situation or a circumstance here. Something here that gives you clarity about this emperor or this empress here. And I feel like others of you all, this person may is getting more clarity here about you, Sagittarius, and just how you operate, how you do things, and how you also feel about this person here as well. Okay, let's clarify here the Ten of Swords, okay? Some of y'all, again, this person could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, all right? But this is a situation where someone has put a past or person to an end here, okay? Again, this could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. But an end had to come in order for a new beginning with that Ace of Swords energy here. So let's clarify each card here, Sagittarius. Let's see and get more insight and details about this situation here, okay? And thank you so much, Archers. If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below as well in the description box, okay? Now we have the Nine of Swords here. Again, that's Air Element. And again, we have, now we have the Five of Cups here. That's Water Element, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancerian. Now, with the Eight of Swords, this is telling me that I noticed that there's two masculine energies here that is leaped over here. That I feel like there has been some type of, I would say... Feelings still involved here. Emotions obviously is still involved here with the Five of Cups. We know the Five of Cups talks about um, emotionally being hurt, still mourning over a loss or a situation that this person here, Sagittarius, feels still like at a loss for. This person feels like they also, for some of y'all, lost you, 
lost the type of spirit that you had and the type of person that you always were to this person here. And with that Knight of Nine of Swords energy here, excuse me, let this person know, let me know that this person is going to tell you how guilty that they were and how they were wrong for making the choices that they made and how they treated you as well here. This person is going to be revealing a lot about how they've been feeling over time, I feel like, but just not communicating these things to you, Sagittarius, okay? Wow, Archers, let's clarify the Emperor. Tell me more about the Emperor here, please. Tell me more about the Emperor, the Two of Cups. Yeah, some of you have this person could be a water sign here as well, a Cancer, a Pisces, and a Scorpio. So some of y'all, this masculine energy here has decided to make up their mind and they now know what they want and they're seeing you as someone as, of course, a love romance type of partnership here with the Two of Cups. This person definitely is having feelings over you or have gained feelings for you over time here, Sagittarius. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords, please. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here for Sagittarius? What is the Ten of Swords here? Wow, yes, look at that. The lovers, Gemini energy here. Whatever situation or circumstance here that had to end in your past, this is now making a windfall of abundance and someone that is wanting to come in to either help you out, you know, help to be your backbone here and support you, right? This is a woman or a man. But I do see a situation being able to work out in this person in your favor here with the Two of Cups and the Lovers here. Because of the connection, the way that you two have always been connected and fulfilled with each other, I don't feel like that portion of the connection is going to go away as well. Because these are two cards with the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Yeah, that is a strong spiritually bond and connection that you and this person has. Is why it affected this person to even, you know, maybe let this go off and not become nothing because this person is trying to still understand of how do they have these feelings here, not or these emotions here and feelings and not just feel this way. So someone is accepting how they feel about you as well, Sagittarius. Wow, Archer. So let's see what they want to say. Let's use my raw tarot index cards here. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box, okay? Wow. Yeah, look at that. We have no more third parties and I will do anything for you. Wow, Sagittarius. So this person is willing to do anything for you at this point because they know your worth. They know your values. They know that them being put in a third party or you being put in this third party situation, this is something that they do not never want to encounter again because they now know it will never be worth it. It will never be worth to be able to mount up to you, Sagittarius. It would never be able to be able to allow this person to be a successful. So I really, I really feel like, excuse me, this person has been doing a lot of plotting. They've been doing a lot of meditating, figuring things out for themselves and just, you know, moving on, taking day by day and step by step. All right, let's see what else. Let's get a couple more cards here. Wow, again, if the reading here is resonating for you, Sagittarius, again, hit that like button. All right, that'd be very much appreciated. Thank you. And then, wow, we have you are the prize, Sagittarius, and I don't want that anymore. Wow, yeah. So this is the information, again, that I mentioned here that this person is going to come in and communicate with you. They want you to know that you are literally the prize and they don't want what was available there in the past. They want to move forward. They have learned from that situation, circumstance, and they're wanting to do right, not only by their selves or spirit, but do right by the next person that deserves deserve genuine love. Thank you, spirit. And they see that happening with you. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I love it, Sagittarius. Definitely, again, if you have enjoyed and loved the message here, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. Show spirit some love. And again, if you're new here, subscribe. We would love to have you a part of the channel. And I definitely look forward, Sagittarius, to your next reading. You all take care. Bye-bye.